Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube and welcome back to our Gartner Bam Bam character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Syringin. So we're going to this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff. Before we get into any of that, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. And it also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. And also do be sure to leave a like on this video. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of Syringin. So at the end of chapter four, we see Bitter Giggle tell the awful joke that sets off Queen Bouncelia. Now that the end of the world has begun, the player, Sheriff Toadster, and Stinger Flynn need to go collect the Queen's Scepter in order to set things right again. They quickly rush back to the elevator and make their way down to the lower depths. But what they don't realize is that they are about to meet someone who won't let them get that scepter. So as the players make their way down to the lower areas, the elevator platform suddenly stops. It seems that the power has been shut off. Our main characters aren't going anywhere unless they get this elevator moving again. The only way forward is through the air vent to the elevator shaft. The only one who can fit in this vent is the player. So they would need to leave Sheriff Toadster and Stinger Flynn behind for the time being. The player makes their way through the vents and reaches the other side. They come to a strange looking medical facility. All throughout this area are empty operating tables. It looks like no one is around, but knowing the player's luck, someone is surely in this area. And straight away, the player hears a sudden sound. They quickly hide behind a wall and take a peek into the hallway. And what they see is quite strange. It's a tall creature with multiple arms. And attached to each of these arms are multiple different medical tools. These are the kind of tools that would be used in a surgery. What was this strange place? And more importantly, who is this strange multi-armed creature? The strange creature walks into another room and the player sneaks up on the door. They can see this character through a glass window. They observe them and try to figure out what they are doing. They seem to be operating on someone, but who could it be? Shortly after, the creepy character leaves this room again. The player sneaks into the room to find out what's going on. When they reach the operating table, they can see who it is. It was a large plastic doll of Ban Ban. It was kind of like those large medical mannequins you see in a classroom. The doll has many different body parts, but it seemed to be missing a heart. The player finds a note next to the plastic body. It reads, don't trust Syringin. If they catch you, you'll become one of us. Find the heart. The heart is key. Huh, so this character's name is Syringin. Were they the one who mutated all the characters at Bam Bam's kindergarten? The one who performed all the Javanium experiments? Regardless, it looks like the player needs to find this plastic heart. Once they do, it might be the key to get out of here. So the player has to search around this area to find the plastic heart, but they need to be careful of Syringin lurking around the hallways. If they were to capture the player, then who knows what endless experiments they could perform on them. So room by room, the player needs to check for the plastic heart. And whilst hiding from Syringin, whenever Syringin is close by, the player can lead them to another room. There's a control panel on one of the walls. It activates the pager system for the other rooms. So when the player rings it, Syringin will make their way to a specific room, thinking that there's a new patient. So the player looks high and low for this plastic heart, but it's nowhere to be seen. That's until they reach the x-ray room. There's a large x-ray screen with a whole bunch of stuffed toys. The player needs to grab the toys one by one and place them in front of the x-ray machine. By process of elimination, the player would need to find what was hiding inside the stuffed toys. Finally, they find the toy with the plastic heart inside. But the only thing they need to do now is cut it open. So the player quietly makes their way to one of the operating rooms. This is where they find a scalpel. They cut the toy open and retrieve the plastic heart. Now they just need to place it in the plastic Ban Ban body and hopefully they can get out of here. So while sneaking back, they need to be careful not to run into Syringin. Finally, they make it back and place the heart in the plastic Ban Ban body. And once they do, a keycard slides out of the Ban Ban doll's mouth. They take the keycard and make their way towards the exit. But all of a sudden, Syringin finds them. The player has to quickly run through this area whilst being chased by Syringin. They run as fast as they can through all the corridors. 
They need to be quick as Syringin would be right on their tail. Finally, they find the exit. The player uses the keycard and rushes through. The door locks behind them and they find themselves in a new area. There's a bunch of platforms that the player has to traverse to make it to the top. But the only thing is, every platform they jump to, Syringin's long arm will reach up and try to get them. So the player needs to time their jumps correctly and avoid their deadly medical tools. Each jump, a brand new arm and tool would emerge. As the player jumps from ledge to ledge, they get closer to the top level. Finally, they reach the top and come across a button to call down the elevator. They press it and Sheriff Toadster and Stinger Flynn finally meet them once again. The player hops on the elevator and they continue their quest to find the Queen's Scepter. Hopefully they can find it and stop the naughty ones from returning. But as to if they'll accomplish this, we'll have to find out in Chapter 6 of Garden of Ban Ban. So I think that Syringin would be a really interesting character to come up against in Chapter 6. Whether they'll be a main pivotal character in Chapter 6, or just another side character that you interact with is unknown at this point. But I think the character design of Syringin is really interesting and it begs the question what other wacky stuff will we see in Chapter 6. But regardless, until then, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing, it's helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Syringin, and what you think their overall storyline is going to be in Chapter 6. So be sure to comment down below all your Syringin theories, and what you think their overall story arc and gameplay element is going to be in Chapter 6. So the fact that we're skipping number 5 and going straight to chapter 6 is quite strange in itself, so I think we're going to see some wacky and strange things in chapter 6 for sure. But let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Also just a reminder, recently we just hosted our latest community character livestream. So if you'd like to be a part of the process of making a brand new community character, then do be sure to join every live stream every second Sunday, 10.30am Australian Eastern Standard Time. We all get together, we share our ideas, and we come up with an awesome new character. And the newest character that we decided on was Shadow Ban Ban. So keep an eye out for when that new video drops. Alrighty everyone, well thanks for watching yet another Character Concepts video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.